Okay, so the <coughs> silicon is now set and it's kind of hard and rubbery. And the first thing I'm going to do is clean that up. And that's, <coughs> if you had the video of that, it'd be a like watching paint dry. So uh, I'll turn the video off and turn it back on again when that's done. Hi, James Hardwin here again, and we're on the last stage of doing something about the uh, Mendel Parts V9 hot end. And yesterday, and it was yesterday, we glued in the resistor using the uh, using the silicon cement, um, and it should normally dry in an hour and a half, but it's a bit cold out here in my workshop, so in the end. I left it for quite a while and then it got dark so it's actually had more than 24 hours now uh, but it's all nice and dry so we're going to go on to cable the cables onto this connection and what we need is it and we need the cables and we need the notes that I made yesterday about which colours go where we need these ferrules and the reason we need the ferrules is that uh, there's no point in soldering these because uh, it gets sufficiently hot that the solder would melt. So we make these connections by clamping them with the larger ferrules to go on the uh, resistor and the smaller ones to go on the thermistor. And I've got some various sizes of high temperature heat shrink tubing and the little knife and side cutters and some pliers which we're going to use to squash the, um, the ferrules. Uh, the other thing that I've done is I've trimmed off the wires on the thermistor and um, yesterday these were much longer and the captain tape was stepping out the end uh, and I trimmed the captain tape off with my knife very carefully and cut the wires down. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the connection to the thermistor first and that uses the small ferrules and you've got way more than you need simply because it's not worth counting out just two and they're so small that you might lose them so see what I mean they all come out of the rush so the semester is brown and black and when we're done we're going to cover it up with some uh, heat shrink tubing and you need to just check whether this heat shrink tubing will go over the ferrule uh, and it does quite nicely so that's a good size of tubing to use I think that one's too small so we'll have two bits of that size uh, brown and black let's tuck those out of the way and we'll first of all twist this up tight and put the heat shrink tubing on twist that up tight put the heat shrink tubing on and these wires are way longer than they need to be so um, I'll cut that down to about like that I think and we'll cut the other one about the same and we'll pop the ferrule on and neither of these components are polarized so it doesn't matter which So that's poked, it's difficult to get that to stay in place so you can see it on the video camera. There, does that show? Good. And what we're going to do now is with the pliers just Squeeze it up. Good. 
and tight and give it a gentle tug. Yeah, it's on. And we'll just run the heat shrink over it. Takes a bit of a fiddle, but there it's on. And then the other ferrule. This wire's a different length, and I think I might be tempted to trim it down a bit. And this is the wire trimmer. Check to make sure that the heat shrink is still there because you'd be surprised how often it just falls off when you're not looking and you get it all clamped up and then find that the heat shrink's fallen off and squash this up. Mm. Good and tight and this I notice is not that tight, so I'm going to take a big pair of pliers and really squish it. That's better. Heat shrink on, which can be a fiddly job. And also, when you've crushed the ferrule, it's now much wider, and there's a great temptation sometimes to sort of squash it the other way to make it round again, and all that does is just undo it. So, won't bother with that. And now I'm going to hold this up here and take my heat gun. And that's done. Right, let's stop the camera. Okay, so that's crimped up those we put the larger heat shrink on because these ferrules are larger and quick go with a heat gun done so the last stage now having got this reasonably neat is to let's just put a cable tie around here make it round the middle peak block around the thermal barrier and trim that off and we might just oh that's fine because we've got this piece of heat shrink here so that's it we're done there is one last thing which is that uh, until you actually get around to plugging these into the electronics the wires Sorry about that. Uh, it could drive you nuts. So I keep a lot of these little uh, wire plasticky cable ties around and just do the wires up in a bundle and it just keeps it neater. That's it.